human-caused climate disruption is now damaging every region. The most recent report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change details the suffering already happening. Half of humanity is already in the danger zone. Each increment of global heating will further increase the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. That is why we must limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees. Keeping 1.5 alive requires a 45% reduction in global emissions by 2030 to reach carbon neutrality by mid-century. But according to current national commitments, global emissions are set to rise by almost 14% this decade. The world must end its addiction to fossil fuels, especially coal. At the same time, we must invest equally in adaptation and resilience. That includes the information that allows us to anticipate storms, heat waves, floods and droughts. Today, one third of the world's people, mainly in least developed countries and small island developing states, are still not covered by early warning systems. In Africa, it's even worse. 60% of people lack coverage. This is unacceptable, particularly with climate impacts sure to get even worse. Early warnings and action save lives. To that end, today I announced the United Nations will spearhead new action to ensure every person on Earth is protected by early warning systems within five years. And I've asked the World Meteorological Organization to lead this effort and to present an action plan at the next UN Climate Conference later this year in Egypt. We must boost the power of prediction for everyone and build their capacity to act. On this World Meteorological Day, let us recognize the value of early warnings and early action as critical tools to reduce disaster risk and support climate adaptation. Early warning systems save lives. Let us ensure that they are working for everyone.